A whole kingdom of adventure awaits at Los Sueños Resort and Marina. It's a magical place where shared experiences make lifetime memories for friends and family. And on this leg's show, Team Ohana shows us what family means to them. We welcome you into our house in this beautiful place of Costa Rica, Los Sueños. Plus, we'll take a moment to explore the many colors of Los Sueños. This place is pretty dang unique. And of course, the fishing will keep you on the edge of your seat. So buckle up, really tighten up those belt buckles. I've never seen anything so white in my life. The 2022 Signature Triple Crown is next. Leading up to leg one, all anyone is talking, or better yet, screaming about, is one of the hottest marlin bites ever seen in the waters outside of Los Sueños Marina. The number of doubleheader marlins that have been caught in the last few weeks here is just insane. The marlin are giving Team Seafix quite a show, and Team Goose are spotting up to a dozen blue marlin every day. We had a blue marlin come up yesterday and went crazy. Greyhounded out the boat, did a flip, greyhounded away from us. The blue marlin bite has been incredible the last couple days. We've been fishing hard and we're going every day for the last couple days. So I come to the clinic to get this vitamin C saline solution. It perks you up and gets you ready to go back out there for leg one, trying to get ready, geared up to go. Oh, that's a lot of vitamin C, huh? Yeah. Hope you get on the first stick. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Executive Chef Daryl Thomas looks to fuel the body in a different way, serving up some delights ahead of the ladies only tournament. Great to see everybody back. The restaurants are, have been full. Uh, we've got a couple of changes in the menus. Hopefully everybody's gonna enjoy those changes. Let our team cook for you. Hopefully everybody's got tight lines and we've had a fantastic January leg for the signature triple crown. The blue marlin bites have been epic. We had a fantastic practice day. It was me and Nicole. Uh, Paige Bayless and Kelly Weber on the max bet. Look at that thing. It's going great. Every girl called a blue marlin. I'll just say that. Ooh, yes, that's sir. It's going to be tough. We had a great day, and we're hoping that it carries on to tomorrow, and we have an even better day tomorrow. Yes. On tournament day, Max Bet makes some last-second adjustments. Feeling dangerous. Can we leave him at the dock. <laughs> we have the four hottest ladies fishing with us today here in Los Sueños. Look out for the Galati gals. Better look out for all of the gals and some of the guys. The one-day competition is a welcome kickstarter to the Triple Crown. This year, the 13-team field released an impressive 32 marlin and 57 sailfish. The Galati gals released 12 billfish for third place. Right off the bat, catch a nice blue marlin pretty quick, and then uh, ended up catching two more blue marlin, three for four in total. They did a great job. Their faces matches their shirt. <laughs> Over on Team Bill Fisher, 72-year-old Judy Duffy fished solo and released an even four sails and four marlin for second place, and apparently another year of freedom. And I get told that I'm going to go to a retirement home if I miss the fish. So I just texted my son that I don't have to go to a retirement home now because I did okay. So it was... Personal grand slam by yeah. 904. Very tired right now, but you know, because I'm an old person, so. The retirement home better have plenty of room for all of her trophies. Cheers on the other side of the marina for some young anglers on Team Pura Vida. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing day for these girls after fishing only six months, learning how to hook their own fish, marlin, sails. These girls did an amazing job. So, so proud of these girls. We ended up with the Grand Slam. We got the uh, stripe, the blue, the sails. We're very proud of ourselves. Southern Pride had plenty to cheer about with two blue marlin. Sitting there, we had blue marlin go under a long line. So when Pam was working the fish up, I'd, I'd jump all the way over and cut it, uh, cut the long line. And when I did, I said, Charlie, pull me back in the boat. He pulled my shorts off. And so then he put them back on and he, and he just did it again. I was like, Charlie, that's not working. Can we try something else, please? Yeah, it is a pretty butt, but it is white. You know, I'm glad everybody had sunglasses on. <laughs> I got a marlin hooked up in the long line, and this young boy's bombing my face. 
but we cut the marlin and that's all that counts. <laughs> Dealer charge, <Woo! laughs> But the champagne and flowers are reserved for the champion team. Dealer's choice, which caught nearly every fish they hooked. We're proud of these guys and <clears throat> up on the bridge, that guy that drives his boat, Scotty, man, he was on it today. He was on it last week. Oh, the girls were awesome, man. I think they were five for five on sales and uh, four for five on blues. And uh, shit, the one we lost broke off. So they did great. Awesome. Every team released at least one marlin with 89 total billfish on the day. I think that it is just so remarkable that we get to fish in paradise. We dine here every night and it is just so amazing to come back to this. The biggest thing for me is just the, the camaraderie between all of the, the girls. It's just incredible to me because for a, a long time it was just a very few women that were fishing and now there is so many women fishing. It's an incredible thing to be a part of for sure. The next morning, there's plenty of time to enjoy the wonders of Los Sueños. Locals start with an impromptu football match in Heradura Bay. Tourists cast for roosterfish. And longtime observer Marcy Costa searches for tiny treasures on Sunset Beach. This place is pretty dang unique right here. This beach and the things you find, the treasure is incredible. So these are my favorite ones, the sea glass, the very bright color. This one almost looks like a heart shape and the bright green and then some of the clear. And then this kind of unique, I don't know what it's called, but it's beautiful. It finally is nice to get everybody back together again and this is such a wonderful damn place. Lines In is just a sunset away for the 2022 Signature Triple Crown. Rigging, prepping, prepping, rigging, rolling, stitching, getting up early and hard work, man. I think that's what it takes. I think we got a really good shot at it. We've been doing a lot of pre-fishing and uh, we've got a great team, solid team for sure. Leg one, day one. Here we go. When you sure on time, but your road is long, and you need some men to get there just before dawn. Well, all you gotta do is pick up the phone and dial my number on the one you want. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back, and uh, we're gonna be fishing on Rum Runner, thanks to Carlos Pellis, my good friend. Together, we're ready. What a team! Yeah, yeah. What a team, man. What yeah. a team. The boats are barely out of the marina before the Marlin Madness begins. Overall, I would say it was fantastic. 71 total Marlin caught on day one with Team Ohana shooting out to a strong early lead. The morning was epic. We had a double header blue Marlin. One of them just came out of the water with the chain, left chain in his mouth. It was epic. We catch the doubleheader blue marlin. Then we have another one after that. And then we catch one on the left flat. We catch one on the right short. Um, so we had four blue marlin and four sails by 10 o'clock. This is Ohana's inaugural run in the signature Triple Crown. The brand new 68 Viking comes with some very established traditions, as we find out in this leg's angler profile. About the time my brother and I were in college, we were cracking beers pretty early in the morning, so my dad started off creating the blessing of the reels, wherein he cracked a beer and poured most of it on every reel and somehow claimed it as lucky. Ohana is Hawaiian for family because I almost always fish with at least one of my sons, if not both of them, and other members of my family. The 68 Viking is a brand new, it was delivered in April of 21. A lot of yacht folks helped put the deal together and the Pat Healy Viking Company did a great job of building it, made a few changes for me and we really enjoyed it. So that's what our boat is named, Ohana. There he is right there, Blue Marlin. <laughs> We're blessed to have Captain John Legron as our captain to run our boat for us. I do work for Galati, but I've been Deployed over to the Burr family, it's, they are a wonderful family. I mean, between the two families, between the Galatis and the Burrs, it's been a great, great time so far. My wife is a stew, so we have the true feeling of Ohana on the Ohana with 
having our families working and being together, it's been really a lot of fun. This boat's successful because there's a great team here and I've got a great team at Greenpoint, which is the name of my real estate development company. And I've often thought real estate development and fishing has a lot in common. You know, in the real estate development world, we're just certain that something special is gonna happen. And that's really the mentality you need sport fishing, because sometimes it's not always, you don't have bites like we're having today. Sometimes you just have to know any minute something really special is going to happen. And that's the attitude we have on the Ohana. Our tournament team includes Austin Burr, my son, who has, a, you know, I've fished with for years. Another great friend and passionate fisherman, Denny Doyle, who's been a neighbor, a friend, and a business partner of mine over the years. He'll be with us. Nick Galati is going to be fishing with us. Nick is an excellent fisherman, you know, part of the Galati family. And Andy Moyes makes up our fifth angler for our tournament team. In addition to great fishing and his lure making, he's famous for his fishing in Nova Scotia. I have a lot of friends who've gone up and fished with him and caught world-class bluefin tuna. And uh, it's a special occasion, a special trip for most people. And he's a great angler, great fisherman, and great gentleman. I'm an alumni of Florida State University. It was a great school. I was blessed to go there. Um, both of my boys have gone there, gotten their undergraduate and master's degrees in accounting from Florida State University. And I had the privilege of serving on their board of trustees for over 10 years and as chairman for over six and a half years. Not only did I get to sign uh, the diplomas of both of my boys, but I got to be on the stage with them and watch them graduate. So it was a real honor and privilege to be able to do that. I recently joined the board of the Monique Burr Foundation, which my dad started on the one year anniversary of my mother's death. What he's accomplished there over the years and what he's done as chairman of the board of trustees at Florida State University has just been unbelievable and you know, proud to watch as a son and been a great role model my entire life. Uh, the foundation today will reach over a million children, 37 states, seven countries, and it's the only evidence-based prevention education program in the world, or certainly in the United States. Our prevention of child abuse, sexual abuse, digital abuse, all types of abuse, we keep children safe and give them a chance at a better life. You know, my wife is becoming more and more interested in fishing, and uh, she loves Las Sueños, and one of the reasons is the fishing is great and the seas are calm. When you're not fishing, there's still a lot of things to do. There's a great golf course right there in Los Sueños. And then the surrounding area, you're in a rainforest. We've done a crocodile tours with my wife. We've done monkey tours and did ex extreme canyoning to repel down seven different waterfalls. Probably end up hiking about four miles during the day. And it was a challenge, but something we really loved doing and enjoyed it. We look forward to many years of fishing down here and enjoying the resort lifestyle that Bill Royster created that made Los Sueños so special. It's one of the most unique places on the planet. Beautiful marina, beautiful resort, beautiful amenities with world-class fishing. What more could anyone ever ask for? Woo! There you go. There we go, boys! Back in the Triple Crown, Ohana continues to enjoy a commanding lead, but the fleet is catching up. And while most of the teams focus on Marlin, Miss AC drills down on the sails, releasing 17. We picked at the sails all morning, and we were lucky to get a couple Marlin bites in the afternoon. Uh, it, was, uh, it was one of those days, everything worked out. This boat was the boat the Duffies redid at John Bayless's yard, back-to-back -back series champions with the Duffies. And, we're going to try to keep it rolling if we can, but uh, they, they like her a lot. It's, it's a great boat to maneuver on, great boat to fish on. It's got everything you need, nothing you don't. Except the sink. We could use a bigger sink, guys. But we're making it work. <laughs> on Team Vaquero, the kitchen sink was the least of their worries. We were so far behind. We had a late afternoon charge, like, and then boom, 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 boom. It was marlin after marlin after marlin. It was, it was effing wonderful. <laughs> With just half an hour left, Vaquero releases their fifth marlin to overtake Ohana for first place on day one. I rolled the dice and made a move and it paid off. I mean, what more can you say? It, it's, it's not over till four o'clock and when four o'clock came and we hit victory lane and that's where we're at. Vaquero's five marlin lead the pack, but everyone was into the marlin. 71 released on the day, and anglers are baffled by the bite. It's pretty crazy. I I've never seen anything like it. We're not fishing on, 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 on any structure. They're just The fish are spread out over a huge area. You gotta wonder how many of those things are down there. It's pretty cool. 
Have a good one, guys. Good luck. On the morning of day two, the docks are buzzing with tales of yesterday's fishing, some of them a bit hyperbolic. One of our anglers, Ben, pretty much almost lost his life, but they were going to have to give him a mouth-to-mouth -mouth sensation, but we were drawing straws to see who wanted to give it to him. Hey, he's pulling. Just relax. Just relax. He almost didn't make it, but the marlin lived. He lived. And there he is. He's sitting right there. <laughs> Pura Vida lives to fish another day, but it's Team Galati's Tony Carasosa who spins a gripping tale of the one that got away. Pat had a fish on. We're backing up, and as Carmine and, and Smalls are winding in their baits, they both get eight. Oh, he's uh, Carmine, you got him. You're on. And one fish jumps up this side of the boat, and the other fish jumps up that side of the boat. And I'm like, guys, I'm screwed. One of you guys are going to have to go to the bow. <laughs> so there goes Smalls climbing up through the rigger, gets up to the bow. Unfortunately, Carmine's fish gets wrapped up in the sonar, and we had to cut that fish off, but we got Smalls' fish off the bow. And that's, that's the story of the single that turned into a triple turned into a double. Good job, Smalls. In day two action, Miss AC maintains their top three position with a marlin and five sails, but a few marlin got the best of them. We had some tough luck today with some blue marlins and had a few more sail bites, but all in all, everyone's doing good. We're just trying to keep it together and pick away the best we can and grind through. Second place Vaquero, also feeling the grind of the Triple Crown with six sails and a marlin. Today was not like day one. Just a little bit of frustration, but we're still in the hunt. Nobody's mad. Everybody's just got to regroup, refocus, have a few more cocktails, get a little more sleep, drink a little more water, catch a lot more fish. Max Bett made the biggest move on day two. The team hauled in four marlin, all by different anglers, to leapfrog over the rest of the field. We should all be proud of ourselves. This is a big day today. So we've been working hard for this for a long time, and Austin's been teaching us since day one, and we are all so proud of him and proud of each other, and this was a, a big team win today. So just awesome. Hey. He used to babysit me. <laughs> I <laughs> still babysit him. Yeah, me to pay. Now I babysit him. <laughs> These are all our friends that we really grew up with and we've known forever. And uh, to be able to come to the dock and have them waiting for us just means the world to us. There's nothing better. Just really feel lucky today and very fortunate. Man, that was good. good. It's a lot that y'all are here. You know, my dad was here and you thought he would have won because he couldn't be more happy to, to share in the wealth of the, of the tournament and uh, see friends on top. Lucky to be a part of this competition. You know, I have a lot of good friends here. I don't think I've ever, besides having children, ever had my phone have so many messages. So I'm very grateful for that. So very grateful for all the team, my crew. Everybody's great. Can't thank them enough, but it's not over yet. The champion will be decided on the third and final day. I think all of us here that are fishing the tournament, this is the one event that you look forward to all year. There is nothing harder than fishing against this fleet. These are the best fishermen in the world. That's why this tournament is so great, because of them. Feels good to be up there with the best of them. Thank God we got a few bites today. <laughs> we needed that bad. 17 sails and a marlin put Tar Heel at the top for the day. We're very happy today. It's about damn time. <laughs> but for tournament leader Max Bett, the day has not been going well. We did not catch our first fish till about 3.30. We caught a blue cell combo to finish the day. Got those 700 points in a half hour. I still don't know how the hell we did it. The mental anguish of not catching a fish till 3.30 is, um, it's a miracle we were able to do what we did today. I'm just so proud of everyone for pulling it together and staying positive. It was easy on Captain Austin. It was an easy day, right Austin? Yeah. <laughs>
Max Bat ends leg one with a thrilling third place finish. On the ride in, as soon as I was checking my phone, all these messages coming in saying, we thought you were broke down. Were you broke down? Did someone have COVID on the boat? Is there a problem? It all came in one big old fluster at the end. Team Galati just edges out Max Bat for second place. Wait, 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 I didn't have my stomach sucked in. <laughs> Meanwhile, veteran angler Pat Healy goes over the final minutes of the leg with Captain Tony. How was your last uh, half hour on the uh, flybridge? Uh, you know, how, how about that guy that suggested the um, change in the teaser? We're never going to live this one down, but you know, Pat, Pat being the executive that he is, made an executive decision from the cockpit, by my, I may add. The change of the left teaser, and I said, all right, do whatever you want. Pat put it out, and sure enough, I'm never going to live this down. The last blue marlin came to the left teaser. The catch of blue and then the two sails at the end. We had the opportunities, and we capitalized on every single one. It was just awesome. Love it to death. I don't know how much more my heart can take. <laughs> that last 10 minutes was intense. Miss AC! Miss AC's 32 sails and five marlin takes leg one. Give a big shout out to Mr. Chris Perry. He's not here, but he's here in spirit. Uh, our team, it's a great team. We look forward to the rest of the two legs. And we're super, super excited. In total, over 800 billfish were released by 37 teams in one of the most exciting endings in tournament history. The signature Triple Crown returns to beautiful Los Sueños Resort and Marina in less than a month. Tight lines until then.